Something I'm reminded of time and time again is just how crucial it is when debugging a problem to make sure that I have a complete understanding of what's going on. There have been some times when I have misunderstood a part of the problem or just plain missed a key part of what was going on and have spent time beating around the bush trying to figure out what's happening when really the answer is pretty much right in front of me. There have also been times when I have been able to diagnose a problem in minutes because I have been able to thoroughly understand the problem. I took the initial time to make sure that I had a complete picture of what's going on. And really it highlights how important it is as developers to really be kind of like detectives. We need to take a complete look at every part of what's going on, every piece of the crime scene, if I might say so, and then put all of those pieces together to form a full picture of the problem, whatever it is we're trying to resolve. And that way, we make sure that we're not missing a key part of evidence that could help us out later on, maybe help us out right away to just immediately understand the problem and basically be able to diagnose it, if not fix it, right away. That's going to help us as we do our best to make sure our clients are happy and keep our time down on the different sites that we work on. Now the book that Joseph wrote, The Art of E-Commerce Debugging, has a lot of tips and tricks to help you grow as a developer, as a debugger, and you can check that out at swiftauto.com. I highly recommend it. There's also a course that kind of goes through some of the different parts of the book and basically puts you in real world problem solving situations to help guide you or give you just some basic tips and tricks on how to do that quickly. Now let's take a look at the question that we have for this week. You are working on some changes to the layout of bundle product pages. After making the updates, you flush the cache and reload the page on the front end and see the following error. And we have an exception with the message, could not find block customize.button. So you confirm that there is a customize.button block created in a layout XML file. You did not touch it in your layout updates and there is a call to customize.button in another layout file. And so we have the question, what is most likely the reason for this error? So making some layout updates, something that Magento developers are very familiar with. It's really a foundational aspect of doing any kind of customization with Magento. You're pretty much always going to be messing around with some form of layout XML. And so we have this error during making or while making some of these updates that a block cannot be found. And now the important part here is the summary right before the question. And this is something that's helped me diagnose problems in the past is I basically create a summary of what's going on. And in that, like I mentioned earlier, I try to take all the different pieces of the problem to make sure that I have a thorough understanding of it. Basically making sure I've painted a full picture of what's going on so that as I step through the debugging process, as I work through the problem, I have all of the information that I need to make educated decisions on what I need to check, maybe what I need to test out and try. So let's look at the possible answers. Option A, the customize.button block doesn't exist in your current theme. B, there is a caching problem, so old layout directives are getting loaded. And finally, C, the parent block of customize.button was removed. Now starting with option A, this could definitely be a possibility. When you have a child theme, a custom theme that you know has been built out by either you or other developers, it's not like uh, we never make mistakes. And there could be blocks that are required that are missing in a child theme. That could be a problem. However, when we're looking at the circumstances of this question, which is what I really want to highlight, we obviously have just made some changes. This, this problem wasn't happening before the changes that we just made to the layout. And so this is rather unlikely that it's going to be an actual problem with a theme or some of that inheritance related aspects of parent and child themes. It's more likely going to be related to the change that we just made in the layout XML. So it's unlikely that this is the correct answer. 
Now again, looking at option B, there being a caching problem, so old layout directives are getting loaded, I would say that everyone that's worked with Magento for a period of time has run into one or several weird caching problems. That's just kind of the name of the game. It happens. And so this caching could cause a problem in, in some different ways. But again, it's unlikely because of the fact that one, we just made the changes and two, we also made sure to flush the cache before we went over to that page. So it's unlikely that caching is going to be the problem here, especially again, looking at the circumstances of the question, we just made a change. It's likely going to be related to a change that we just made in the layout, at layout XML. So option C being that the parent block for customize.button was removed. That option matches all of the different details in the summary of that problem. We had a update made to the layout XML, then we flushed cache, we refreshed the page, and we were greeted by this error. Now obviously if we remove a parent block, all of the children blocks are not going to be rendered. So then if we have a, one of those child blocks, in this case customize.button, being referenced by some other layout directive, that layout directive is not going to be able to find customize.button, and we're going to run into a problem. And that was the case in a recent problem that I worked with. Obviously the fix was just to go and remove the block that was referencing that child block. Everything worked fine, completed the different layout updates that I needed to make. But again, the point that I want to highlight is making sure that we have a complete understanding of what's going on. Looking at that summary, we gain the information that we need to make a guess an educated guess as to what is most the most likely answer to this question. If there were some of those parts that were left out of that summary, it could have just as likely maybe been a problem with the theme. Maybe there was a problem with caching. It could have been possibly any of those things. But looking at the full aspect of the question, looking at all of the different details, we can make the educated guess, again, which in my case was correct, that option C is the correct answer for this problem. The parent block of customize.button was removed, so the child block customize.button was not rendered, but it was referenced elsewhere and ended up breaking the site. So thanks for watching, and make sure you check out the art of e-commerce debugging at swiftauto.com.